show y'all I've been sawing out this <clears throat> 3 8 lap siding here so nice thin little stuff I'll be using this for siding on the goat barn now this log I've already got it squared up and ready to get set up ready to go so I'm at the point now that I'm ready to just start flat sawing it down the bottom you can see right along here you can see a little bit of uh, weighing in it but it's flat on the far end and it's flat on this end the underside's real rough that's because as I start dropping the blade, when I get all the way down, I'm still about seven eighths of an inch thick. So I've done that on purpose, but that's the scrap side. So when I'm done, I've got a scrap and I don't have that weird dimension thickness of a board. So let me set this up here and I'll let you Alright, well there you go. You get the point. <clears throat> the mill started acting up on me right there at the end. This thing's been running like crap for, well, ever since I've really started running it again. <laughs> it's got an obstruction or something in the uh, in the carburetor because it wants to run on choke all the time. So I just haven't been, hadn't spent enough time to fix it, but there's a nice little stack of boards. It's not bad. Um, of course, I'm able to do it, you know, pretty quick because I've got my my log scale on there which isn't any secret of mine but it's totally worth it if you guys got an old mill that's just got a regular tape on it you'll want to get you that log scale for sure but yeah the mill's been acting up so it's sitting there kind of bogging down but it's it's pretty quick i try to i try to move quick with it and i wasn't trying to show off i'm not trying to sprint that's how quick i normally try to run it once i get into that production mode because just pass after pass after pass and then after i make you know i just kind of take a spot where i feel like um you know, I'm spending more time cranking it all the way up, cranking it all the way back down. And you have to keep a mental, I keep a track in my head, you know, am I on red or am I on black? Which one was I on? So I kind of a proof check when I drop it again. If the gap doesn't look like it's about right, then I may be on the wrong, you know, maybe I'm three eighths off. But anyway, if you feel like you're cranking it up, cranking it down too much, that's a good point to stop, take everything off, and then reset. But, you know, I just did three here. Since I've moved them, I'll go ahead and take them off. But I'll probably do six, seven, or eight on the next pass, you know, and then go from there but anyway just thought I'd show that to you guys I guess I am showing off a little bit but I'm happy with it things are going well and uh, 
Guess I just wanted to give you guys some actual footage of me running the sawmill and not just talk about all this stuff to fix the dang thing. <clears throat> so there you go. I went ahead and just took that all the way down. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that works good. Grab three at a time. But see that that block is what I'm left with, and it's right at an inch. It's not. I can't quite get my saw to drop down to seven eighths. Uh, I could probably cut it and just call it a seven eighths. Um, but to make one more pass over that, I would just shave off a thin little strip. So instead, I'm just going to leave it what it is for now. Um, right there, just about an inch. You know, I'll find some way to use it for blocking or something, or I don't know. I'll probably forget about it, and it'll warp and twist, and I'll throw it on the burn pile. But that's what I'm left with. I could actually shim that up if I wanted to, you know, take off all but maybe two of these three eighths and put them on bottom and stack it up. Maybe I'll do that. But yeah, maybe I'll do that. Now, a change of plans. I'm not going to try to saw out that last little bit of it. You can see what I'd get here before the split. There's enough that I get one more cut out of it. The problem is if I try to stack it up on top of other boards, then it doesn't hit these stops anymore. And it's too thin of a cut, too thin of a board. For me to use the built-in log stops so it just wouldn't really it wouldn't be safe and it wouldn't be smart i'll scrap it for now throw it on the pile like i said i've got this you know it's like a basically a two by well inch rough cut inch by something so who knows i might get something out of it but for now i'm throwing the scrap <laughs> 